Mr. Copeland, back in <clears throat> twenty fifteen, were you mentioning any of Thug songs? Was your nickname Woody mentioning any of Thug songs? Huh? Did Thug mention you in any of his songs back in twenty fifteen? Back in twenty fifteen? Yes, sir. I don't, I don't know. Do you recall telling the detectives that he puts your name in, his, in these songs, and he doesn't know you don't know why he puts your name in these songs? I didn't like I didn't like him rapping about me. Why didn't you like him rapping about you? Huh? Why Why didn't you like him rapping about you? Because it's my life. Like, don't be lying on me. What do you mean by that? Don't be lying on me. Are you talking about in the rap songs? Yes. What did you think were lies that he was telling on you in the rap song? I don't recall. Do you recall what the verse was or what he said in the rap song? Mm, ain't no speak no English. No, I don't recall. Now, back in 2015, we talked about the gun that you had, the, the gun that was at the Dunbar Center. I ain't had no gun. Hey, was there a gun that was in... A H and M bag that they found at the Dunbar Center. That's what they said. All right. And isn't it true that Quindarius Zachary or Little D from Cleveland purchased that gun from you for you? I don't recall. Okay. Isn't it true that you told the detectives when they asked you how did you get possession of that gun? You said I got it the day he bought it for me. I don't recall. And you asked and said, yeah, he bought it for me. He bought it out of the pawn shop for you. I don't recall. And that you paid a thousand dollars for that gun. I don't recall. And you purchased the gun because you thought you could defend yourself. I don't recall. Did you think that you were able to defend yourself because of the retaliatory shootings that were happening back in 2015? I Do you recall telling the detectives that another detective told you you had a right to protect yourself? I recall. But that you couldn't take the gun if you were at the club, but if you were at home, you had a right to protect yourself. I recall. When you were at the Dunbar Center with the gun, were you trying to sell that gun? I was at Dunbar Recreation Center playing basketball. Okay. And why at the Dunbar Recreation Center playing basketball? Did you have the gun that Quindarius Zachary purchased for you? I had a basketball. Isn't it true that you also had the gun that Quindarius Zachary purchased for you? I had my shirt off. I was playing basketball. Where was the gun at? You tell me. Isn't it true that the gun was sitting on a bench and a basketball court in an H&M bag? I was playing basketball. And isn't it true that you were trying to sell that gun that day, that you had it at the Dunbar Recreation Center? I ain't have no gun. <laughs> isn't it true that you told the detectives that you gave them the gun to sell and that they were going to sell the gun, that you were trying to sell your gun that day, that you got caught with the gun at the Dunbar Recreation Center? I tell the investigators anything. Matter of fact, isn't it true that you told the detective, when I was locked up, I called one of my partners, and he was like, get some money, can you help me out? He was like, yeah. When I got out, they brought me the gun back, and I was like, I don't want it. I was still trying to sell it. That is why, that, that is what I had, you know what I mean? When I got the gun, I got it from the green store. I went up to the park to go play basketball, but I was waiting on them to come and get it. Little D and them, so his brother pulled up. They actually waiting on who to come and get it. You talking about Demeke or Quindarius. You said Little D from Cleveland. He was supposed to pull up and get it. Just kept, I tell the investigators anything to get them off me. I didn't have no gun. I didn't know nothing about the gun. When they said something about the gun, I was confused, shot, lost. That's why they let me go that same day. Okay. And matter of fact, they wanted to make sure that they were correct that you were both talking about the same gun and Detective Gates said, I'm talking about the one from the Dunbar Center. He said, that is what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm, 
That is what I'm talking about. I got out of jail from Henry County Monday and police got me for the gun Tuesday. I did not go to jail. Can you say that again? Sure. Detective Gaither wanted to clarify that the gun she was referencing was the gun from the Dunbar Center. And your response was, that is what I'm talking about. I got out of jail from Henry County Monday and police got me for the gun Tuesday. I did not go to jail. Can you say it one more time? Sure. Isn't it true that Detective Gaither wanted to make sure that you both were talking about the same gun so you clarified for her and said, that is what I'm talking about. I got out of jail from Henry County on Monday and police got me for the gun on Tuesday. I did not go to jail. I don't recall. Now, back in June of 2015, were you still hanging with both Shannon and Demikian in June of 2015? I don't recall. Isn't it true that you told the detectives in that interview, one minute D is with Shannon, and then... When Shannon, when these not with Shannon, him and me are together. I don't recall. Nothing I told the investigators. I would tell them anything to get them out of me. Back in 2015, did you get all of your information from Little D from Cleveland? Excuse me, Little D from Mechanicsville. Say that again? Back in 2015, because you were locked up from parts of time, did you get all of your information from Little D from Mechanicsville? I'm Mr. Make Believe. I make it up. I don't recall. Nothing I don't made up. I keep telling you that. Isn't it true that you told the detectives in the same June 2015 interview, I get all my information through Little D, and they clarified which Little D, and you said Mechanicsville. And they said, so Demikion, and you said yes. I don't recall. Nothing I don't say, uh, whatever I made up to the police. Okay. Do you recall saying that he he's always in the midst of everybody? Everyone talks through him. You know what I mean? I can always just ask. I can call Lil D right now, and he will sit here and tell me what's going on. Nah, I don't recall nothing, but I do know that I tell Lil D what to say. So if I told the investigators to go ask Lil D something, it's because I don't told Lil D to be prepared for it. <clears throat> now, in 2015, did you know someone by the name of Valerie or V? Who? Valerie. Who? Did you know someone by the name of Valerie? I don't recall. Isn't it true that you told the detectives that it was Valerie who told you that Thug wanted to kill you? I don't recall. Nothing I don't made up to the police. Isn't it true that you told the detectives that Valerie got into a car while you were at a baby shower and told you that Thug was trying to kill you? That wasn't true. I made it up. If I did say that, if I didn't say it, I don't recall. Nothing I said to the police. Isn't it also true that on a jail call after June 10th, 2015, you told Max that Valerie told you that Thug was trying to kill you? Yeah, because I already, I told you, one thing, I don't recall. Okay. Now, is it true? Well, let me ask you this. After Valerie told you or that Thug was trying to kill you, did you try to reach out to Monte or Yet Gotti? No. I. I don't got anything else to say. 
Oh, okay. Isn't it true that you told the detectives in this same June 2015 interview you saw Monte and Detective Gaither asked you which Monte? Your response, yak. Like day before yesterday, went to the graveyard. When I seen him, he was at my cousin's house. I was like, damn, man, we grew up together. They asked you, what is Yak's real name? Do you know? You said no. Detective Gaither, you said you grew up with him. Your response, I just know his first name, Monte. Don't know the last name. You said to Monte, MFers told me that Thug plan on killing me. And Monte's response to you was, hell nah, bro, I never heard that. He denied it. He said, person was never, you said that people will never say it. Word was, I was talking to the police too much. You feel what I'm saying? So once I was released from Henry County Jail, uh, everybody would ask me, did I hear the song? I mean, did, everybody was telling me that Thug had put out the song halftime. And the police wasn't targeting me again. That's why they got me the next day. I was mad. That I was like, damn, this nigga telling on me, putting me in his song. So I was mad at him, and I started planning against him. I was talking to one of my friends, and I was telling him, hey, man, this nigga trying to make it seem like I'm out here. Ooh, I, I said what I said to my buddy. And, yeah, I, I didn't like the simple fact that he was saying stuff that didn't have nothing to do with him and his song. Like, why is you rapping about what I'm doing in the streets? Like, they didn't got nothing to do with it. So, yeah, I, I was mad with him, and I was planning on him. When did the song Halftime come out? I don't, man, this song was old, but when he put it out, the police started making it seem like it was a new song, and then they started trying to use that song to say that this and that and third. Is Halftime the only song that mentions your name? Hell, I don't know. Right. I just know this song made the police come after me, and I didn't like the simple fact of it. I didn't, I didn't give nobody permission to, 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 to say nothing about me in no song. Why do you believe that the song made police started coming after you? Because that's what they said. They said it. That that's what the investigator told me. What did the investigators tell you? I don't know. Okay. So is it your testimony that the investigator said, hey, because your name is in the song, we're now coming after you? What I do go to the grave with me. You hear me? Well, yesterday you did disclose that you and Threat shot up it's Rich Homie Kwan's barbershop. Yeah, you got me frustrated, and I ain't mean to say that. Okay. Do you recall asking the judge if you could say it? I was frustrated. Now, they asked you, why would Thug be nervous if he had nothing to do with anything? And your response is, y'all keep saying my name. They saying me and Thug. That's what I keep saying, but I had no parts in it. Are you talking about the fact that you had no parts in killing Nut? I don't recall. Nothing I said to no police. Now, isn't it true that... Nothing I say is true. Okay. No. Up until June of 2015, were you trying to keep what you knew about Nuts' murder to yourself? Can you say that again? Sure. Prior to this interview in June of 2015, were you trying to keep what you knew about Nuts' murder to yourself? I don't know what you mean. Okay. Isn't it true that you told detectives... This is what I'm telling you. This is what I'm telling you. I'm asking you with the murder. I'm trying to explain it. I act like I never heard about it. I act like I never told D and none of them, period. So I just kept it to myself. Yeah, I tell so many, so many lies and different stories to the point. I don't even know. I don't have a clue what I don't see. All I know was I'm innocent. And today I'm innocent. And three innocent too. What are you innocent of? Anything. Okay. Are you innocent of, did you not kill Nut? Is that what you're talking about? No, ask me that how many times now? Because I'm, I'm trying to understand what you're talking about. I don't know. I don't recall. Okay. 